What's up? This is Cedric Lee Bradley. Welcome to my channel Backstage. Today we're talking about hyperpigmentation. But before we do that, I would like you to hit the subscribe button for some tips and tricks. Music, oh. fashion, inspiration, oh. Let's do it. creativity, oh. elevating your dreams oh. to a lifestyle and beyond just an activity. So if you're here today, you have some issues or concerns about hyperpigmentation. I did. My areas were here where it was darker on both sides. It was much darker. There was a very dark spot here, this area, and here. And I was doing my research and it says that as you get older, the melanin doesn't distribute the color in your skin quite equally. And that's why you have dark spots. I mean, it's different from every person, but it was the issue that I was dealing with I had in these specific areas that I really was trying to get rid of. They say your skin changes every seven years. So I had not really thought of it as a really problematic thing. And so I said, I just thought I would give it a try, uh, the process and see what, what, what would work. And I was experiencing this because I'm 52, be 53 in some weeks from now. And from the stubble after I shaved, I would get ingrown hair and the ingrown hair would cause spots. And I, I figured out how to get rid of it. I have been doing this process for about four or five months now. So the tip is, in the shower, I would use my, my scrub brush. Uh, you can get them anywhere at the dollar store to exfoliate because that's really important. I only exfoliate Monday, Wednesday, and Friday to give my skin a chance to regenerate because it's really important. So I would use a scrub brush with my wild turmeric and clove soap which is kind of looks like a Neutrogenia soap. I'll just show you the soap as it is. Well, turmeric is great for the skin. It helps to give you an even, an even color. And the soap is, is fantastic. This will last you literally a year. So it, it's, it's quite, it's pricey, but it will last you quite some time. Second step, face cream, which has microscopic algae, a company that's um, produced here in Austria, Austria and Germany. And it's quite a, a nice, cream, moisturizing, mattifying. It's important that you apply your face cream before you apply the cream for your hyperpigmentation because you want that to be the last thing to go into your skin. And if you mix them together, then you'll have the cream all over your face. And that's something you want to avoid because you only want to put the cream only on the sections that you would like to have lightened. When I bought the cream, she asked me if I wanted to do skin bleaching. And I was like, no skin bleaching. But I realized the cream actually does lighten the skin. And once you get your skin all to the same color that you would like to have, or, the, or the, you get rid of the hyperpigmentation, then you can do like a complete skin coverage. If you also would like to add your eye cream, which I do, also from Zynd, I apply that as well before I apply the final cream. You have to be very careful applying under the eye because that's the very sensitive, very thin layer of skin. I wash my face daily, it's important. But I, I, don't, I don't exfoliate every day, just Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So now we get to the one tip that really made the difference. This Palmer's Skin Success Fade Cream is absolutely fantastic. I mean, I, I did try a lot of DIY creams before, but the price of buying new things that I had to actually either store in the fridge that didn't last or I had to throw away. This tube, 2.7 ounce, 75 grams, will last you literally at least half a year or to a year, depending on how often you use it. But I would say you only need literally a dab, just a dab, a dab will do you. And you just apply that dab on the spots. I do under the eye, but I'm very careful. So this actually dries super fast. So you have to be very quick with applying. I'm doing this without a mirror. So I'm just kind of trusting myself that I'm getting this right. Palmers. I literally just use just a dab. And this was important for me because I actually started this because of razor bumps, spots from the razor bumps that were leaving spots. That is the tip and the trick 
I use to get rid of my hyperpigmentation. Uh, give it a try, it will take you a, at least two or three months to see a difference. The, the package says a couple of weeks. That's a bit of a stretch. I think it took a few weeks you'll see some lightening, but to see an extreme difference. I see an extreme difference. I have very little, um, there's no makeup, there's nothing on my face, so. And I'm 52, so I'll be 53 soon. This was just being continuous with the effort of, of applying and not to the entire face. First, I exfoliate with the Turmeric uh, Wild Clove Soap, add my moisturizer, my eye moisturizer, then I add Palmer's Skin Success Fade Cream. I hope you enjoyed this tip and it helps you along the way if you have problems with your skin. There's more to come with more products. I will be doing a full test of Zeins. Zeins means his in German. If you have any tips or tricks on your process, please let me know. Leave me a comment down in the comment section. Hit that subscribe button because it is important for my channel. I see you holding out on me. Don't do it. All right, have a great day and I'll see you soon with the next one. All right, take it easy.